Hey, what's up IG Garage family? Picture this, you're cruising down the highway and suddenly your engine starts misfiring. The check engine light comes on, and when you check it out, you've got the dreaded P0203 code. Now if you ignore this, it could lead to rough idling, poor fuel economy, and even damage your engine. But don't worry, because today, I'm going to show you exactly what this code means, where to find the problem, and how you can fix it fast. Let's dive right into it and get that engine running smoothly again. Alright, so what exactly is P0203? This code is all about the injector circuit, specifically injector circuit malfunction, cylinder 3. That means the ECU isn't able to control the fuel injector for cylinder 3 properly. If that injector isn't working right, your car will miss fire, causing a drop in power and poor engine performance. But here's the good news. This issue is often related to a simple problem with the wiring or the injector itself. Now let's talk about location, because that's critical when it comes to fixing this issue. Your fuel injectors are usually located on the engine's intake manifold. For P0203, we're specifically focused on cylinder 3. Here's cylinder 3, and right here is the injector for that cylinder. It's responsible for delivering the right amount of fuel into the engine for combustion. If there's an issue with the wiring or the injector itself, that's when you'll see the P0203 code pop up. How do you know this is the issue? Well, if you're dealing with a P0203 code, you'll probably notice rough idling, poor acceleration, or even a hard time starting the car. These are telltale signs that cylinder 3 isn't getting the fuel it needs. The good news is that, in many cases, this is just a wiring issue or a faulty injector. Here's what you need to do to fix it. First, inspect the wiring and connectors for Cylinder 3's injector. Look for any damaged or corroded wires and make sure the connections are tight. If the wiring looks good, you'll want to test the injector itself to see if it's functioning correctly. If you find the injector is faulty, go ahead and replace it. Once you've made your fix, clear the code with your OBD2 scanner and take your car for a spin to make sure everything is back to normal. And that's it! You've just tackled the P0203 code and got your car running smoothly again. If this video helped you out, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to IG Garage for more car repair tips and tricks. And before you go, be sure to check out these two videos. First, watch our video on P0236 where we cover turbo boost sensor issues, and don't miss our video on P0238 for more turbo-related diagnostics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.